Yes, time once again for a BTS vlog. Yeah, slowly getting things back to normal around here. That's with the new the new added stuff. Uh, working on the uh, kitchen diner. There's a lot of work to be done. Uh, working on recipes, fixing up the uh, the area where I'm cooking so that um, uh, things can be easily made, uh, or should I say, easier to be made. Uh, cooking does require a fair bit of time and, and um, uh, dedication to it because it's not something that happens immediately it's something that happens over a period of time uh, and as that occurs uh, and you get more used to cooking you can find ways to sort of make things more efficient to do things better in a better manner uh, and add more and more to the menu that's sort of what I'm doing is adding more to the menu as I make the kitchen more efficient more you know and more uh, uh, functional and the goal is, is that uh, everyone likes to eat out everyone likes to have uh, good food and since this is the case and uh, I'm no exception uh, rather than spending an enormous amount of money I've been noticing on these uh, on these uh, different vlogs uh, like uh, Nikki Philippi and uh, a couple of vlogs where they went to uh, Trader Joe's and uh, picked up these uh, what they call their organic health food snacks or or or, or, or we call healthy snacking and they're rather expensive uh, I, I would consider ex I, what at least what I would consider expensive anyways and uh, my family background comes from the Middle East it comes from from, from Greece uh, so it's got a pan-asian background we're more like the Asiatic Greeks and so I learned how to cook all these different things I learned how to cook from scratch I learned from my mother I learned from my grandmother and I have a lot of grandmothers in church, so I learned from them as well. So, uh, I learned, and I find it's actually better to cook from scratch than it is to buy prepackaged. Uh, most of these people who are well, oh, doing uh, the Trader Joe's and so on and so forth, that they're primarily buying prepackaged foods. And that's what I sort of watching to sort of see what, what they're doing. And they are buying prepackaged. They're not. Uh, making things fresh so uh, I, I the question would be uh, is the health benefits actually there if you're going to be buying prepackaged yeah okay it's organic yeah it says on the label healthy but if it's prepackaged and it's pre-made is it as healthy as is if you're making it from scratch so that's sort of the question I'll leave you with and that uh, um, uh, sort of figure that out for yourself uh, and because it, it does have an issue to, w to do with health uh, the kitchen diner is is, is going to become a show a web show series here but not simply from the perspective of uh, dining and cooking but bring a lot of the uh, foods uh, this, these we call the, the pan-asian cultural foods the foods of antiquity uh, to the modern time so this is a, basically a way of looking at food history uh, not simply as a textbook way of looking at food history, but rather as a sort of a taste where you can sort of see and you can sort of see what dishes may have been made at this particular point in time, and it comes out from these different cultures, uh, these different cultural dishes as they come out. Uh, it, it's something that I've, I've I've actually found a lot of stuff on the in, on the web uh, or on on YouTube uh, on these different dishes. So it's the stuff I'm pulling together from all over different places, including my including my 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 aunts, my grandmothers, and my mom, and so on, sort of my 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 cultural background. And uh, well, where are we going next? <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, it's not food can not only be looked at from the uh, historical perspective, but you also have a perspective. Uh, and this is a, a, a something more out of Asia, and even it, more of the antiquities that food was often viewed as medicine too, that few, food could be used to cure things. And given that uh, most of what goes on in food and digestion is organic chemistry, uh, you can then take a, or an organic chemical approach to the human body and understand that uh, with certain foods, depending on the organic chemicals that are present, you can then turn your body into a pharmacy and actually do the organic chemistry of uh, chemotherapy and that's anything that has to do with any, any any therapy that has to do with a chemical or a drug that's chemotherapy 
uh, th that's not specifically related to cancer. It, cancer does have chemotherapy, but these drugs are specific to cancer. So, but but any drug, any any um, any can any chemistry derived organic chemistry derived uh, medicine is viewed as chemotherapy. But because food was never in the Western medical tradition, never viewed as medicine. Uh, food is not part of the traditional medicine or, or sort of the, 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 the Western medicine uh, view of being a chemotherapy, being a form of therapy. Yet, if you understand food properly from, 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 the, uh, from the Eastern side, it can. That's where a lot of alter alternative uh, therapies come from, is from the East. But what happens is they stop short, uh, particularly in the, in the uh, European view of uh, herbology and natural medicine, they stop short of the scientific uh, uh, methods in terms of trying to understand what's actually going on in the body chemically. And so their approach is more, well, this works, we know this works, this is what we've had in history. The question is, and this is where you can bring science into this, you can bring in organic chemistry into this, uh, is, is find out why it works. What's actually going on inside the body uh, to make this particular thing work? And this is something, a question that really has to be answered, and this is one of the aspects that we're going to be dealing with with the kitchen direct, the kitchen diner. We're going to be looking at a lot of the organic principles, the organic chemistry principles within uh, cooking, within eating, within uh, uh, the foodstuffs that we can sort of we, we consume on a daily basis and see where we can turn uh, our eating our our eating behaviors our diet into uh, a healthier lifestyle but not only healthier but have our our eating become part of our medicine once again uh, so that's kind of where we're going that's some, some of the things we're doing back I'm, I'm actually doing back here and we, I mean, in, in, in the, uh, we as in Cyborg Alpha, so there's not other people here, just me and Cyborg Alpha. Uh, <laughs> so that's how you get the we there. Um, so, yeah, we're slowly getting to the editing desk. As I'm probably going to end up leaving the editing desk because I'm going out to my other office, uh, well, back to my house where my first office was, to do uh, some history work and some language work over the weekend and then they'll be back uh basically sunday night back in here again to uh, do more work but anyways that's the way things are going today and we'll be going over the weekend so i'll see you tomorrow we should be get back should be getting back to the daily bts vlogs and i'll see you on sunday